Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Max Hahn. I'm the marketing director here at BuySells Technologies. We're a leading LTE and 5G hardware manufacturer. Today we're gonna bring you something a little bit different than what we've been doing. This is gonna be an educational video where we talk about LTE technologies. Now this video is actually based on a wonderful document written by our documentation team. If you wanna follow along and read along, uh, feel free to take a look at that document. You can find it down in the description below. All right, with all that being said, let's get into it. On top of the All right, so let's start with the history. So LTE has come a long way over the past couple of years, so we're gonna start all the way back at the beginning. Not quite that Jurassic era beginning. We're starting in 1980. 1980 is where you see this first generation 1G of mobile communications. So this is an analog technology. It's used purely for talk purposes. And these are just these massive cell phones that really only get you like two kilobytes per second if you wanna talk like data throughput. Then in the 1990s, you see the second generation of this wireless mobile technology come about. And this is what we're gonna call 2G in this case. And so back then in 1990, you see this move from analog to digital technology. You can do talk, you can do text, you can do pictures. Um, and these were the brick phones, you know, the big ones that you can run over with a car and it wouldn't be damaged, become popular. You get speeds up to about 64 kilobytes per second. Now, kind of a fun fact, right? T-Mobile is actually still running its 2G network. In fact, it's not gonna get shut down until 2024. So even though this technology is pretty old, it's still relevant in today's society. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the 2000s. So you might've noticed that every 10 years, we see about a transition to a new generation of technology. So 2000 rolls around and we get 3G. So in 3G, where we really see this expansion is this use of mobile internet. Uh, you get more data, you get video calls, and you get way faster transmission speeds. This is really the era where the smartphone takes off and you begin to see a lot more online data applications with 3G technologies. Your speeds are not nearly what they are today. We're talking about two megabytes per second, but it is a start into getting into the internet. Then another 10 years pass by, and now we are in our current era in the 2010s where you see 4G LTE used today. So this is the current standard of mobile communications around the world. It's what we build our fixed wireless LTE hardware off of. And if you want to find more details on that, you can go visit that document that I made mention earlier in the video down in the comments below. This 4G LTE technology allows us to do mobile streaming, allows for gaming, video conferencing, which became very apparent during the pandemic, and allows you to get several hundred megabytes per second uh, as compared to just that 3G, which can only get you that two. Now, where are we headed into the future? Well, it's the 2020s, and we're starting to see 5G really become prevalent, right? A lot of the tier one carriers are rolling out 5G networks, and we're providing 5G fixed wireless base stations that are available today. This allows you to get up to one gigabytes of speed. It has ultra low latency, so I'm talking like five milliseconds or less on these types of wireless communications. And the use cases range from augmented reality, virtual reality, autonomous vehicles, um, mobile robotics, all these sorts of new applications. So it's gonna be really exciting to see where we go with 5G here into the future. All right, so with that being said, let's move on to some of the key features and benefits that LTE has in our world today. So as I already mentioned, it is the most prominent wireless communication form here in the world. There is countless devices that can connect to LTE technology from anything from smartphones to Chromebooks to even handheld scanners that you would see in like warehouses, that sort of stuff. Um, it has a significant improvement over what the 3G technologies were. Right? We're talking like at least a 50 times increase in throughput and capacity. So you get faster applications that enable video streaming and communications, and you just have general improved connectivity out in the world. Now, also important to note, LTE is backwards compatible, so it does still connect to those 3G and 2G networks, as mentioned. That being said, you know, the 2G and 3G networks are still much slower. However, it can connect to that. 
And lastly, like I already said, there's this huge range of applications that are available today for LTE technology. And that's really one of the main drivers as to why LTE has become so prominent. There's a huge industry out there for it and a huge need for connectivity that LTE is just able to plug directly into. So we went over the features and benefits of LTE, but now we're gonna roll into how we actually see it used today. Like what are the real life applications of LTE today and where we see this? And today BiSales has taken this and we've used it in a fixed wireless setting that makes it very affordable, easy to set up for a wide range of users. So we see this wide range of innovations and applications that are used today, including municipalities and smart cities. So we even have like an interview with the city of Las Vegas. You can see that up here. Um, if you want to take a look at that, it's great content in there. Just take a look at it. Uh, then we have schools and healthcare being used in this. Most notably, we're working with the UETN, which stands for the Utah Education Telehealth Network. They are setting up a statewide network for schools and for their healthcare system in order to do uh, remote healthcare and to connect all of their students to make sure that they've got equal opportunities to access the internet. Most notable with this is the Murray City School District. Also have a video about that, isn't that kind of cool? Um, where they were one of the first schools that actually had a wireless network set up during the pandemic. So they were able to connect students remotely, even though a lot of other school districts were struggling at that period in time. And then we have local events and music venues using LTE technology. Uh, so the Taste of Madison, they used it in order to connect a cashless payment system that was not possible before. And they needed this because of COVID happening and they needed to be cashless during this event. There's a whole video about that here. I'm just plugging a bunch of videos. But it's great because we have all of this stuff and you can see these real life applications. Uh, weirdly enough, EDC, if you're familiar, Electric Daisy Carnival out in Vegas, also used the fixed wireless LTE network. Why? Well, they wanted to connect influencers to the internet during the events and not risk them losing connectivity if the public network's tipped over. Um, so that's a really cool application for it there. Let's just run through a couple of really quick, right? Oil and gas. They can use this in order to connect surveillance cameras, IoT sensors, the list goes on. Utilities, same application. Hospitality, they can connect all of their guests to a single private LTE network and get them the internet that they need, similar to a Wi-Fi network. Multi-dwelling units, similar purpose. Maybe you wanna run fiber, but fiber can take a really long time to get installed. What if you need to get those people connected to the internet today? Use a fixed wireless application, you can get them up very quickly. Universities are utilizing this. Universities traditionally have had giant Wi-Fi networks that spread everywhere. It's not effective. Fixed wireless LTE, way more effective than Wi-Fi in these sorts of applications. Blockchain technologies. Decentralized wireless networks have exploded over the past year. If you wanna find out some more information about that, I recommend you take a look at our website. We do have some solution briefs there as well. Uh, we'll have a link in that down in the description as well. Lastly, Certainly not leastly, we've got internet providers uh, who are able to connect communities, residents, all sorts of folks. Doesn't matter where they're located, if it's rural or city, they're able to connect them through fixed wireless technologies. All right, I think I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you so much for joining us here today. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, and we will have more of them coming out, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, hit the like, we love the engagement, Share this on social media. We would love to see that posted everywhere and whatnot. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.